Live at five with some Greenville County students who are turning to four-legged friends to help them read. That's right. It's a really important effort. And, of course, our 7 News reporter Dave Jordan has been digging into this. He's been talking about the role that therapy dogs are playing now in helping those students to learn. And he's live outside Greenville County School Headquarters with a lot more on what they're up to. Dave. Well, Amy, this was an idea that the school librarian had after she read an article that she talked about the positive impact therapy dogs can have on a child's ability to read. And one upstate school is seeing that firsthand. Reading by itself is like, it's a fun, like, yeah, but um, reading with the dogs is fun. Eight year old Katie Fan is having a field day with Fido. It's an experience she never thought she'd have. I go near them because my parents won't let me, and because I'm scared that they will bite, but these dogs don't bite. Fan is one of 30 students in Lake Forest Elementary who struggle with reading. Those students now take part in a program that allows them to read with therapy dogs every other week for about an hour. Natalie Dean is one of a handful of therapists who bring the dogs inside the library and watch the students curl up with a book. They get a lot more animated when they feel like they're reading to a dog. So in their reading skills, you hear them doing inflections. School librarian Sarah Glenn, who put this program in place, tells us she noticed the change in the students, many of whom don't enjoy reading. I know by reading aloud that they're improving their reading. Um, and I hope that they're becoming more confident. Which helps when you have a captive audience. It was great because um, they listen a lot. Very popular with the students. Now, this program has only been in place for about a year, so there hasn't been any testing to see if the scores have actually improved, but teachers say it's only a matter of time, and these dogs help the students discover their love of reading. Live outside Greenville County School Headquarters, Dave Jordan, 7 News.